Making sure that using while she's dusting herself off and the sand hasn't got anything in her eyes, that could lead to infection, of course. Doing the same thing with the inside of her ears. Then what Terry will do is ask you to lift her ear. Now the reason we train this is not only so we can check behind the ear, but this is also the position that we use for taking blood from our elephants. The veins at the back of the ears are very prominent, so it makes it very easy for us to lie them down on their side, pop a needle in just behind the ear, take the blood, sending the blood off which helps us track their hormonal cycle so we know exactly when we should be putting them in with Raja but it's also given us a good opportunity to check that our elephants are fit and healthy but after they've been bathed and scrubbed with a simple word of command Terry will ask her to jump to her feet and she's awaiting your applause Now every day here we do take our elephants out for a walk. We're very lucky that we have 3,000 acres that are walled here on the Woburn Estate and we take our elephants to different parts of the estate every single day. We walk them between three and a half and five miles. No bones whatsoever. It is very dexterous but is incredibly powerful as well. An elephant is capable of picking up well over a tonne with that trunk of theirs but it's also very dexterous and elephants can pick up a single blade of grass from the floor so as you can understand it is a very tremendous tool indeed. Okay, so unfortunately it does bring us to the end of today's elephant demonstration. We're getting it done before the rain comes in and gets us all soaked. So how's about giving you in a final round of applause as you can? What a good job. Okay, so it comes to the best part. We're going to allow every single member of this audience to come down and pat you in, okay?